Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Empire Total War campaign. We're playing as the Spanish Empire, or the Spanish Republic actually. Um, and we've got like, uh, what we've got here now, five, six, seven, about 8,000 screaming Russians coming down on this fortress here. So let's, um, without further ado, let's get on with this. He's got a couple of artillery pieces. We need to get out there and destroy these artillery pieces with our cavalry. We need to sally forwards. Once we've destroyed that, he's into climbing the walls. Which is not going to be good for him, to be honest. Just looking at the uh, morale of these guys, they tend to have very, very good melee attack and, and defense. I mean, look, melee attack 12, this guy's got. So we need to try and destroy them before they climb the walls, if we can. Okay, let's get on with this, though. I'm fairly confident, although it says we don't have a chance at all. We've got the fortress, and. Uh, as long as we sally forth and destroy his artillery, you won't be able to make a gap in the wall, so they are into climbing. Ladders and um, rappels. Okay, let's, um, let's man up the, um, the battlements. And fought a, a siege battle for a while. Quite looking forward to this. This could break um, the back on of their attack on the uh, siege, and then we can push forward with our own troops. That's the idea in our own turn. It all depends whether we can win or not, of course. Right, we've got some good artillery as well, actually. We've got some uh, carcass shot highwitzers that can fire over the battlements, which is good. It's taking a while to load up, but I suppose there's only 12,000 troops involved in the battle, so you'd expect that, kind of. We have fortifications. Uh, normally, I would say that you're in a pretty good position when they set you up like this. Uh, I'm not really being very clear what I mean. It means that probably the army's going to come from this direction. The way it's set up my troops, um, it's pretty much a given that they're going to come from this direction. Well, we are in some weird positions on the, on the battlements. Never really got sorted out, did it, this, with Empire. Because really, the, these troops, I'd like them to man, man the artillery here never really kind of got, got sorted. Boom. 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 But we're actually going to be along here. We're going to go a long, long kind of rightward kind of rightward? <laughs> it's not even English. <laughs> kind of a flanking move around here, basically. Again, okay, we've got some weirdness going on here. Just, uh, I can't really get this to get them to deploy properly. Uh, they might might march around. It's possible. They may try and march around to the edge, but we will have plenty enough troops to to move around and um, go around the the fortress. Um, it's got cavalry, but of course the cavalry of no use. So this is kind of like not really. These defiled defences are not really of much use. Um, you know, I mean, we could set up outside, you know, and, and basically build trenches on here and have these guys firing, these guys firing from above. But it's not really, it doesn't, it's not really effective for you to do that, to be honest. Um, okay, well, I think we're going to start the battle. As we said, they are actually over on this flank, so if we go here, uh, we're going to try and get round and. Um, where's his artillery? Let's go here. Let's get my, my artillery to fire on these guys. Yeah. Okay, well, that, that's fine, I think we're okay already. So you're not going to have too much trouble. 
cuirasses are expendable. These guys are, uh, are kind of a light. Although it's 400 of them. In fact, they're, they're not a particularly good set of troops, to be honest. We need to hit these guys. We don't want to destroy our, our fortress. Be quite careful how how we deal with these guys. Just gonna get these guys to deploy probably. Right. Okay. So he's going round. He's moving around here. So we need to definitely put these troops around here and run them. Yeah. We need some more troops around here. Go just here. Take out his artillery. He's got some horse artillery that's probably going to come on from over here. But, um, at present, in his, um, yeah, this is going okay, I think. Just got to watch these guys. They're kind of pushing round. Have we got these guys yet? Oh, we're getting a bit of a lag. For some reason, I don't know why this is lagging, because there isn't... It might be to do with the graphics climbing over the walls, it's quite possible. Yeah, I think it's probably to do with the graphics of climbing up the walls. Yeah, doesn't like it. Okay, that's all going okay. We need to do something here, because he's actually he's heading right the way around here. Done yet? Okay, that's all. It's all going okay. Sorry about this. It's very unusual for me to get any kind of problems with this game, but it, it could be all the graphics related to the siege warfare. These are massive units, of course. The Russian ones. So there's loads of troops in there. We need to do some troops around. Okay, we've not got this guy yet. Okay, so that's that's all done, I think, these guys. And certainly over this flank, I think things will be over on this corner of the fortress. They're gonna, they're not gonna cause us too much trouble. Uh, it's really just these units over here that are really need to be attacked. I think. It's got one, two, three, four regiments that are moving up on our flank, and we need to, we definitely need to have some troops here. As possible. We've only got two regiments coming over here at the moment against four. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. Let's sit and fight our own buildings here. It's not so good. Oops, I think we've hit our own our own guys. I think. Okay, this I think is all right. Need to attack these guys here. Yeah. Right. How 
How's the cavalry battle going on? Are we okay? Back and losing slightly. We need them to really be losing a lot better because we need to take out some of the, um, the guys over here that are coming on. See these guys? They will actually start to get artillery coming on soon. Gosh, they're up. We need to get some artillery shells on these guys. He's going even further out, so we definitely need to push a, a troop round. Let's go around here. Okay, that's fine. Sorry, I'm always fighting this in slow motion. Wow. Running slightly, that's not so good. Running, okay, that's that's better. Right, these guys here, as soon as we've dealt with these cavalry, we're gonna send the the cavalry round to here to try and hit these guys in the flank. Hmm. It's not so good. Right, okay, well we've got them, them on the way to the right place. Confident winded. Keep on hitting these guys. Right, this is done over here. Maybe we need to attack here. Attack here. Can we attack them? So we can't actually attack them because they're too close to the. Yeah, they're too close. Let's bring the guys over here. Well, perhaps this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Actually, I never thought it was going to be easy, but I thought we had a good chance. We lost something here. Building lost. This is this gate, I think. Let's bring the cavalry over. Keep the artillery firing on them. So that's the... I don't know, these guys are just not moving, are they? It's the only problematic area, I think, over here. These guys moving? They're not actually moving. Oh, there they go. Right. Okay, that's fine. Let's get these guys involved. Oh gosh, we're losing there. Wow. Um, okay, we've got another regiment here, which is fine, I think. Um, can we hit these guys with some artillery? That would help. This is a good regiment, these guys, so we need to, to hit them with this, some artillery, I think. Combat winning. Combat winning, that's not so good. Yeah, they're all winning, those three regiments. 
It's not looking so good. So good. So how do we do here? This guy is losing slightly, that's good. It's over here that I'm really worried about. about losing slightly. Slightly. Just got to stick into this. I think that's all we can do. Continue to hit these guys. Ten of those guys left. Narvsky Regiment. Move the general to here, so I'm a bit worried about this gatehouse. They're not actually doing anything, which is weird. We try and charge these guys. Alright, that's good, they're going. How's this attack going? Well, it's literally as if we're playing in slow motion. So weird. Let's try, um, try doing that. Because there aren't that many troops here playing, to be honest. Not now, now, now we've hit them quite a lot. We're going to stay here with these guys we can get them to deploy. Uh, wow, it's so slow. These guys are going to move over to here. Cavalry's coming in now, so should be okay. Well, saying that, these are huge regiments. good they're, they're deciding that they don't really want to fight us anymore 55 of them 200 of them so that's not too bad Let's see if we can hit someone else how's this going over here because this was the fight that um I mean slightly still I mean slightly 77 of them oh, i think we're going to be all right here i think we're going to be okay 200 77. Hmm. Let's see what the cavalry can do over here. Losing slightly. Winning slightly. That's fine. So we really need to get these guys around to try and help. Can we do anything here? Yeah, 
don't think we're winning. This unit has now come round to support them, so, so that's good. Gosh, they're just masses of men in their army, isn't there? Perhaps so you can get a hit with the artillery over here. I do apologise, I don't know why this is so slow. Because there's nothing running on the computer. Let's try fast forward. Yeah, it's just not going to work, is it? It's just so slow. Yeah. There must be something holding it up, but I just can't see what it is. Okay, they're losing. getting some artillery hits on these now, but I'm not sure it's helping us or them, to be honest. Okay, well that's, that's going okay. This fight is losing slightly. Oh gosh. Still going on. Oh, we're about to lose this unit. They're gone. They're gone. They're doing something. Let's bring this bring this regiment round, actually. Wow, there's lots of stuff going on here. One of our units, three of theirs. Okay, this is going a bit better for us. something here I think. They've got this gate now. Let's run. Have they, why have they got this gate? That's just weird. Right. So we need to fight this a bit, a bit more effectively I think. One attack here. Okay, that charge was probably the one that did it, to be honest. Got rid of these guys. Then we need to try and support this guy because he's losing. So we're going to bring a regiment down. Because we can. Okay, still got some troops here. 200 odd. It's all okay there. Let's see if we can get some watch this because he's now got cab all over the place that are coming on. Can we hit these guys? I don't think we can. Right. Yeah, these guys are coming on from over here, I think. Only slightly losing slightly. This is going to be very tight actually, this battle. Bring these guys back. Okay, that's over there is fine. It's, um, these guys in. Okay, winning slightly, losing slightly. These guys should be able to drive them back now, I hope. Losing slightly. Okay, that's fine. Our cavalry's getting a bit of a pasting because he's now bringing on his, um, his own cavalry, of course. Of course, they, they, they can't climb up a wall, so <laughs> effectively, there's, there's not really a problem. These guys are losing slightly. Do we own this gate again? I think we don't at the moment. Um, let's 
So we've got an infantry regiment there. Let's bring... We've got a regiment there. So that's fine. We'll hang on to that gate. Let's bring this regiment round, actually. Bring it round to here. Try and help. For some reason we've got the speed back again. I don't know why. I don't know why it slowed down. I don't know why it speeded up. It's just weird. So we need to attack these guys. We need to get this, this gate bay back. Well, they're now starting to come into the fortress, which is a pain. Um, Okay, so he's still got some troops here. Wow, this is going to be so close. My artillery has hit here. Cavalry's gone now, um, but in theory we should get the gateway back. Wow, we're going to lose the general unless we're careful. What's happening here? Cavalry, 138. 259, so that should be okay. Oh, we lost our general, which is not good. Come on, guys, keep firing, keep firing. Let's hit these guys, come on. So weird. Okay. Oof, this is not so good. They're going 200, oh gosh, 333, 400. Gets my guys. Mm. This is looking pretty bad now, actually. Winning slightly. He's still got loads of troops he's bringing on, as you can see here. Okay, well they're gone. They're gone, that's fine. Right, let's see if we can get some hits on these guys. The crucial thing is to get this cavalry out of the um, compound, if we can do that. Slightly. Have we not got this gate back yet? Surely we have. Come on, guys, fire on these guys. Oh dear, they're gone. I think we're going to lose this, but we would have done so much damage that they won't. It'll be kind of a bit of a ferric victory for them, I think. No wavering, come on, go, 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 go. Because then I can bring these troops down to try and plug the gap over here. But we're going to have to do that anyway, to be honest. Let's get these guys over as well. Okay. I did think I could win this, but I'm not quite sure now, to be honest. I don't think we're going to win it. Should really be hitting these guys. Maybe we need to bring a regiment down. Get them into a square. 
Right, let's form up here. And let's form up uh, along here. This regiment here. We're going to attack here. Maybe they can't get up and down until. Oh, now we're done. Because they'll just take out the artillery now. Oh, damn. They're going to take the um, town square. So we need to come off the walls and just go for it. Everyone comes off the walls now. Because they're going to take out the town square otherwise. Okay, we're forming up square here. Okay, well, got 73 guys there. Uh, I don't know if we can do this to last in time. We'll have to see. We we are basically running out of troops now. So these guys, these guys need to come down and destroy these guys. Oof. 28 seconds left. Are we going to do it in time? I don't think we are. Let's take the speed off, actually. Okay, well, we've got the... We've got it back. We've actually got the thing back. So it's not quite all over yet. It's nearly all over, but not quite. Okay, start forming up to see if we can do some damage to these guys. So many troops, and, and there's still more coming on. Look, yeah, pretty soon he's going to smash his way through the fortress. About another four or five regiments here. I always neglect, always forget how powerful Russian troops are. Okay, we've had it, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, let's say valiant defeat, but we've done a lot of damage to them. A hell of a lot of damage. So, although we've lost that city, which isn't something that happens all that often. Uh, they lost. We lost three thousand. They lost four thousand. And we'll just take it back off them, obviously. But I say, I always forget how good the Russian troops are, just in terms of the numbers and the fact that they are fantastic at melee. So we need to take back Courland. So it's a little bit of a setback. Okay. Enemy raid. Steam engine. That's good. What else are we doing now? So we're still building the army, but we not be here. Got one more turn, and then there that'll be built. So we could do. Um, just looking at what we're building. I think that's okay. We're all right here. We can move on to these. Uh, actually. It's not very happy, is it? Minus one. There we go. Is there any way we can get this happier? I don't think there is. Modern U because we had to build a modern university, that's the reason why we've got a slight problem. Okay. Fleet arrives. Right, let's bring that down to here. And we're going to build some really heavy ships now. Uh, what have we got here? Let's do that. Okay. So we've got some flagships here with uh, that will come with admirals, which is what we want. 
Um, and these guys here they're just gonna trade. I'm still not very happy. Um, might be in the next turn. We'll get some. Although saying that, the next turn it'll actually be down to 27. So that that's fine anyway. Uh, so we can get rid of that. Region lost coolant. Yeah, that's the first setback we've had for ages. So lots of ancillaries being gained. Strike on Austria. Need to build uh, that coaching in. Uh, we might get a rebellion here, possibly. Maybe. Arcadia, that's a bit of a waste of time. Fifty percent, hundred percent. Looking for areas that are not. Just going to there. Do that. Right, Jeff, that's General Ignacio. So Ray's been destroyed. Arcadia. Fleet arrives. We need to repair this fleet. Uh, what have we got here? We can bring them up to here, I think. To repair. Let's bring them up to the channel. Let's put them to here. And then we'll repair these guys when they arrive. Boom. Um, new port. I think this will actually trade, I've got a feeling. We can try that. New port merges, Ireland. Spell fast, let's go for that local fishery trait gain, good listener. Natural causes. Done that. Done that. And we've done that. New turn, new town here. Let's go for that. Algonquin. Let's go for that. Okay, so we can now put this on to our New York staging position. It's really there to deal with any revolts or anything we get. Masonry in Boston. Okay, so I'm quite happy with what's happening in North America. We've got an army here for dealing with the um, Ottoman Empire when eventually they become aggressive towards us. We've got an army here that can run around and um, yeah it's pretty good. We're going to take them off actually just in case it gets forced out in some some weird way from the port and then end up destroyed on board a small ships. So um, yeah okay that's fine so that's good. Just to recap we've got lots of um, trade going on. We've got this, this the whole of this area. We've got uh, 5,000 odd coming here. I think we've got all of the trade regions apart from one, I think. All the trade ports. Yeah, that's all ours as well. We've got 40, 50,000 coming in through that. That way. I think apart from this one. So we've got all of the trade ports apart from that one. Right, back to Europe. What are we going to do here? So we've basically got another two fleets that are going to join us. Should be fine. Maybe deal with the these guys up here next, possibly. Um, right, so we need to try and see if we can get rid of the the Austrians. Uh, let's besiege for the moment. We will probably auto resolve that in a moment. Let's go for that. Let's get rid of the. 
and we will want to resolve that. That's the end of the, the Venetians. Keep this army here. Uh, we're just going to watch the Ottomans, who keep saying, just in case we get a problem. Now, oh, let's see what's down here. We've got a fleet here, haven't we, somewhere? Oh no, it's actually over here now, isn't it? Blockading this port. Okay, let's just destroy it. There are a couple of ships here, and they got out. It's quite possible they've, they've managed to escape. So we'll go there, and we'll see. In fact, we'll go here. Okay, that's fine. So an army here to take on Sarajevo. This army here maybe to take on Bulgaria. Let's just get rid of the Austrians. They're gone. You just need to replenish this. This is a fantastic general you got here. I think I merged someone there. I don't really mean to. See the experience this army's got. Definitely need to replenish it. Some of these guys have got seven chevrons. So let's um, replenish this army because we're going to have to fight the Russians fairly soon. Now we need another two guys to come over, so send another two guys to here. And we'll make sure these guys are up to, to scratch. That will give us a full stack here. Uh, actually, we don't need to repair this to we can save some cash. Right, okay. Not too good here, to be honest. We have to do a lot of upgrading. Now we've got steam mines. So Austria's gone. Trade gang attacking Germany. Region captures Serbia. Venice is destroyed. Um, okay, doing well I think. Got to keep can keep on pushing. Um, pushing the envelope, as they say. Gosh, see, I, I'm now a little bit worried about these guys. Um, we've got to go to here. Yeah, we need another unit here. Just to beef that up. That has not affected my confidence, but the battle that we just lost, I mean, they are good. The Russians are good. Okay, so we might have to exempt that. Right, no more troops coming through. This this fleet here can replenish. Where do we want it to replenish? Let's replenish down here. So we've got two fleets in the Med here, Mediterranean. We've got Looks to me as if we might have three up here, three fleets. Got these two fleets that are forming. This fleet here, this fleet here, plus some ships that are being built. And got this one. So we've got three fleets up here that can deal with any naval problems we're going to get with the um, Russians or Swedes. We can actually force these guys out and capture their ships. Well, there's not really much to capture, to be honest. Um, right, need to move east. Okay, that army's pretty good. Although what we just saw with those those guys, it's a bit worrying. Hmm. Can I recruit here? I think we can actually. route here as well. Right at the um, the battlefront. They are all over my territory actually. 
I could try taking that army on with these guys and these guys I think that would be a way to do that I feel right I'm looking at moving this army up to here I think we just got to right let's see if we can do that minus two so we need to move these guys in here forming up another army so what have we got here we need a general need some cavalry five cavalry there one, two, three, four, five another couple of in infantry I think yeah that's that's fine uh, do some more Great. Mainly the mines, I think, that we need to do because of the um, gold mine, mining complex. Yeah, because of the um, the fact we've got steam engine, we're going to be able to upgrade a lot of stuff, that, which will give us a lot of cash, actually. Um, all right. Okay. Hmm. I have to exempt some of these places. One, two, three. Let's repair these. This army. Yeah. Move three infantry out. To here. Two, so we can't really leave that um, at the moment. Wow. Just looking at this cavalry, it's not up to much to be honest, so we're gonna, gonna get rid of one of these units, I think. This army needs to be fully up to scratch, which it will be soon. And so will this one. Right, so we'll have another army shortly. In the meantime, we need to fight another battle, I think. Destroy this army, possibly. Loads of troops here. Raid this just to destroy it. We've got four cavalry in there. I think I want to uh, I think we're gonna move them down there. This army here. And we'll, we'll start another another stack. Get the artillery that'll give us five or six groups of artillery there. Um, so we're going to move down to here. Hmm, that's probably a better army actually. Yeah, well, we've got two, three, three groups of artillery, so possibly this one and then this one here. Okay, so that is uh, pretty much auto, but we're going to fight this because we want to we want to kill this army off. 
So we're going to need to do this quite fast because I think we're rapidly running out of time on this episode. We've already fought that huge siege battle which we lost. Um, but that should hold back the Russians for a short while. Uh, I think strategically the thing to do here is to maybe strike at somewhere like St. Petersburg to draw their armies back. The, um, the AI within the game doesn't really respond very well to, to like strategic moves like that where you attack people from from their rear, they don't. He doesn't really tend to garrison its rear areas too well. well. Let's um, let's get on with this quickly and destroy them. How true that is! In war, the simplest maneuvers are best. When command and control in those days, in Napoleon's time, was so poor, when you literally had to send someone with a note to actually tell people what they were doing. Just telling an army group or something to attack on the left. Oh god, we're in a terrible position here. I mean, really bad. Let's go here, the artillery. We're just going to try and alter the the axis of the attack because it's really bad. The terrain is so so not in our favour. This unit over on the flank, I think. It's a massive one. This unit doesn't need to be in there, does it? Um, uh, these guys here, well. I don't think it's going to be that quick because we're going to have to do quite a lot of manoeuvring. Such a bad position we're in. Can I hear these guys? The horse guards, they're a particularly brilliant unit. Let's try and hit this horse artillery. I didn't even bring my general over, I was in such a rush. here a bit. This horse guys, maybe we need to go into a square. Let's get my cavalry up, because we're not kind of really helping ourselves here I don't feel. Let's hit this uh, regiment on the flank. Okay, we're dragging these guys on. Oh, they can't form square. So get the general's body guys down. These guys. Indecisively, that's not so good. What are the cavalry doing? Losing slightly. I'm going to throw these guys in actually. them in there as well. Let's put these guys on the flank. Cossack regiment. Let's see if the artillery can hit these guys. I think we destroyed their artillery by the way. I think we did that by um Wow. Let's go for these guys. Uh, let's keep these guys in reserve. Uh, cavalry. Let's attack these guys. Oh, 
okay, well this is this is going on okay, I think. I don't think there's any problems with this battle at all. These guys are going to get slaughtered, I think. But, um, let's, let's put the artillery over here, actually. The general's bodyguard. Okay, this is all going rather well, rather quickly. A major kind of rap going on. Um, they're going. I think they they are all running, basically. These guys. God. They've only got militia fighting there, so that's not going to go too well. Um, let's charge these guys in. Well, that that was remarkably quick, to be honest. Suffer too many losses, which is good. So everyone attack these guys. Wow, they just their morale is so good actually. <laughs> Settle up my artillery because I think they're starting to do damage to my own men now. So we can finish these guys off. To three of them. This colonial militia have gone. I think they are starting to go. It's obviously got a lot of experience. Seven, that guy. Unit. Two, one, nine, forty-four. It'd be nice to actually hit that to be honest. So, yeah, that that would be that would be a better unit to destroy, I think. James bodyguard. So, unit, twenty-five of them, fifteen of those. Um, one. Nine. Let's get everyone to attack here. Pile in. Pile in, guys. So, cavalry and um, infantry. This is a seven star unit. Seven chevrons. We don't want to kill this, this unit here. Essential that we do. Sixteen. It's almost gone. Seventy four. Three. One, one, eleven. Yep, we need to get after these guys. I'm not sure that I'd actually triggered these guys to go after them. We, we don't want these regiments to survive, basically. That's the idea, because they have good experience. Fast forward this. Let's continue. Let's fast forward again. Okay, so that's got rid of one of those armies that was on the flank uh, to the south of Warsaw.
Are we getting these guys? We are, 32. Yeah, we can't afford for regiments with six and seven uh, experience surviving, especially with the way the Russians' morale is high anyway. Uh, it's like a superb unit, so we can't really let them survive, unfortunately, for them. Oh, okay, there's one guy left, is there, I think? There's a guy over here. Let's have a look. 23. Let's destroy this guy. Okay, over here now. Six of them left. I sometimes find this it just uh, unit integrity breaks down and you just can't get destroyed. You're kind of running all over the place. Right, okay. Right, good stuff. I think we're around about an hour, so we'll have to end the episode. We'll just have a look and see. How effective that was at clearing out the area south to Warsaw. I think it was. I think there was one more army just the other side of that river. Uh, yeah, so he has gone. So we can replenish this army. We can actually use this guy to replenish. And this army here, which actually did nothing. It didn't actually get involved in the army in the battle at all. Um, Maybe we need to keep that army there, I think, in connection. Yeah, this guy here. Building up some more troops, I believe. We are. Yep, so there's going to be another army here. Got to watch in case they push through central Warsaw. Central Poland towards Warsaw. Um, I think we're actually done. I could probably end the turn and we'll see what, what happens. I don't think there's anything more I want to do. Um, is there anything else I can upgrade? There probably is something I can upgrade just to use that money up. Let's, uh, let's end the turn. We'll see what happens. And then we'll end the episode. Prussians are still in existence. I think they have one more city up near um, Vilnius, I believe. Ottomans. Are they going to start pushing troops towards us? It's possible. That border is completely undefended. The the um, Spanish... Uh, he's doing a bit of raiding. God damn him. Yeah, the Spanish and Ottoman border is completely undefended. But on their half, they don't have any troops at all. Right, the, the, ter the end turns are nice and quick now. Now we've managed to reduce down the number of troops they've got. Number of enemies, rather. Okay, right, so we've got 98,000 coming in per turn, which is good. And, uh, report. I'm going to end the turn now. Right. Um, end the episode, rather. So I say, things are fine in North America. I've got no problems at all at the moment. Um, Europe, we're pushing on. Diplomatically, our enemies are gradually dis disappearing. We can probably afford. Can we actually get the allies of Sweden? Sweden's still at war with us, unfortunately. Sweden has these two territories. Um, but you see, our enemies are gradually reducing down. Mm, yeah, they have one territory. Sweden has two. So obviously, the way to do this is to knock these these individual units out, these individual enemies, and then move on to the main. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be quite a powerful navy. You've got two more ships to go in there. And quite a few, actually, in here. Five we could actually put in there. But we'll maybe build some more heavy ships in first rate, or even heavy first rates. Okay, so that will give us uh, three fleets. Okay, thanks for your time watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We're pushing on now against the... Um, against the Russians and the Prussians. Uh, we're done now with the Austrians. We're in a good position here with uh, these guys gradually replenishing. We may have to keep an army here actually, strategically, because of the, the Ottomans. It's possible. Anyway, that's for the next episode. Take care. We'll be speaking to you very soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.